Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Boris Spassky and myself. The game was played in Adelaide in 1989. Former world champion Boris Spassky came to Adelaide and played Simul at Hart Hotel in Adelaide against 25 players from South Australia. And here is my game. Boris Spassky had white pieces on all boards and played e4. I played c5. Knight to c3, knight to c6, g3, so we have a closed Sicilian. g6, bishop to g2, bishop to g7, d3, d6, knight from g to e2, e5, ready to meet f4, Boris castled kingside, knight from g to e7, bishop to d2, I castled kingside 2, queen to c1, bishop to e6, planning queen to d7, exchanging bishop on e6 for 1 on g2, bishop to h6, queen to d7, also connecting rooks, bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, Queen to d2, connecting rooks. Bishop to h3. f4. Bishop takes bishop. King takes bishop. Knight to d4. Knight takes knight. c takes on d4, attacking knight on c3. Knight to e2. And to prevent possible f5, I played f5 myself. c3 f takes on e4, d takes on e4, queen to c6, attacking pawn on e4, queen to d3, defending, d takes on c3, knight takes on c3. In this position, after Boris captured with knight on c3, he offered me a draw. I couldn't believe it. I thought, Mato... If Boris offered you a draw, it must be that he blundered and you have a chance to win. So my answer was, I will think about it. Boris went to play against other players and I tried to think. But I couldn't think of any move. I even couldn't see chess pieces and I couldn't see the chessboard. When Boris came to my table again, I was only hoping that he remembered that he offered me a draw. I extended my hand and I said, I accept the draw. We shook hands and draw was agreed. That night at home I tried to find out if I really had a chance to win, but I didn't. Uh, let's have a look at possible continuation. Pawn on d6 needs to be protected, so this is possible continuation then. Rook from a to d8. Now rook from a to d1, I would capture pawn, but not that night, that would be another day. Pawn takes pawn, rook takes pawn, rook takes rook, pawn takes rook. And let's have a good look at this position. I have a problem, that is pawn on d6. But also, white king is somewhat exposed. And maybe that's why he didn't like his position. And maybe he also thought that I played opening very well. I don't know. That night, Boris Pasky played against 25 people. He won 21 games and drew 4. I was happy with my achievement. After playing this game, that was in 1989, I stopped playing chess completely. 16 years later, that was at the start of 2005. At age of 40, I was physically the strongest I have ever been. I was black belt in karate and instructor in Kyushikai karate style. They called me Senpei Matt. The same year, I had a car accident, which caused me huge problems. I couldn't even walk for two months and I was in lots of pain. Destiny had it that for some reason, before the accident, I borrowed a chess book from library called Polgar's 5300 
34 games. Chess problems. That's a huge book. After two months of reading this book, and after I started to walk again, I went to the chess center in Adelaide, and I played for the first time after 16 years. I was then unrated player, but I won the tournament. I was then offered a job to be a chess coach. I said to the man that offered me a job that I even don't know how to do this. Man said to me, if you do it, I'll pay. I said, well, if you'll pay, then I'll do it. A year later, I started my own chess organization, which is called Chess School SA. I'm very happy with my job now. If there is no solution to your problem, if you have a problem that has no solutions, then pray to God. If life gives you a lemon, make a lemonade. Remember this. If something bad happens in your life, be positive and think that something good can come out of this problem. Maybe there is a flip side and after the tragedy, your life can be even better than before. This is Mato. I wish you success in life and chess. Bye for now.